At the end of uh, chapter one, it talks about the difference between positive and normative economics, which is the difference between subjective and objective. Uh, positive economics is what is, normative stuff is what ought to be. In economics, we try to stick to the positive, objective things. Um, so for example, I can't tell you if we should or shouldn't do something, but we could talk about the economic effects of it. So for example, in economics, we've got people who work on what happens when markets for certain goods are made legal or illegal. You know, people study alcohol prohibition during the 30s or you know, illegal markets for marijuana and those things or whether they're legal or you know in Nevada prostitution's legal how does that market work there versus other states so the economists who specialize in illegal market stuff and and the point of their research is not to say should it or shouldn't it is to say what are the effects of it for example can we test statistically what are the effects of making something legal versus illegal on its potency on its quality on the price of it and these are all scientific questions we can address. And we don't think about them as right and wrong. We think about them as science, just like, like gravity. If I let go of the pen, what's going to happen? OK, we all knew that, right? That's the law of gravity. Is that good or bad? It's not how you think about that, right? That's not how an economist thinks about these problems. We think about them like, what's the effect of this? Well, we'll tease out the science of it. Mm -hmm.